Absolute brutal display of batting. One short of 550 for an aggregate of runs in a game. Only 10 wickets falling as well. Bowlers had a tough time of it. But I'm not going to have a crack at the bowlers. I thought the conditions were tough. They were very batting friendly. I thought uh, they did all right. But there were a few crucial moments in the game. The matchup between Topley and Travis Head was very important. Topley, extra height, gets the ball to move away from Travis Head. He's got a bowl back of a length and trying to attack middle stump, getting it move just outside off stump with that away swing movement, knowing that Travis Head likes to be leg side of the ball and play away from his body. He likes that cut shot, but if you can tighten him up and get into play away with a vertical bat rather than a horizontal bat, then all of a sudden you've got that opportunity to get him out caught to the keeper and should have a first slip in play for this matchup. But Topley over-pitched, didn't quite get it right, and that allowed Travis Head to get away with his innings. There are a few lucky moments for Travis Head as well later on in the power play. Ferguson coming in, trying to cramp him for room on the body. Travis Head took a risk where he went over backward square leg. He just got enough of it so he didn't get caught out in the deep there. But I also thought Dale bowled exceptionally well uh, in the power play and the death overs as well. But the six over there, Travis Head was trying to give himself a little bit of room and he was able just to get it behind backward point for a couple of boundaries there. Nothing wrong with Dale's bowling. It was just good, creative batting from Travis Head and a little bit of luck there too because one Nelly went to hand out backward point which was crucial and then we go to the back end uh, I thought Dale bowled a beautiful I think it was the 18th over then Topley bowling the 19th over to uh, Abdul and he didn't get his line and lengths right he wasn't able to hit the Yorker he wasn't able to hit the wide line either and it was just easy pickings for the young Abdul uh, Samad there and I thought that was a crucial over uh, and th that little innings of Samad was the difference in the game to be able to uh, stop Sunrisers Hyderabad from getting the record score. What was it? 287. If uh, Topley was able to execute there, then all of a sudden a score of 275 might have been the end damage. When it came to uh, RCB batting, I thought Coley and Duplessis in the player play were awesome. They were putting pressure on the opposition bowlers. Uh, they were finding the boundary quite easily and they were making the SRH bowlers work really hard. But then the crucial moment was Mark Anday, the impact player, coming in to bowl to Virat Kohli. We all know that Virat Kohli has his weaknesses against leg spin. First ball to Virat Kohli that he gets uh, the opportunity to bowl, he goes for the wrong one. Virat Kohli looking for the big six over mid-wicket with a sweep slog, misses it, bold, and all of a sudden there's a change of momentum after that. And then through the middle overs, I thought the SRH bowlers were sensational. There was an over for, another over from Mark Anday where he only went for one boundary, and Nat Rajan and Cummins were able to slow the momentum down. And those two overs that those two particular bowlers bowled just after the uh, 10th over, around about 11th or 12th over, can't quite remember what it was, just was enough to stem the damage from uh, Kartik out the back end. I want to just uh, quickly uh, talk about DK. That was probably the best innings of the game. Yes, Travis Head had 100 uh, on the board and a high strike rate, but the pressure that Kartik puts on the opposition bowlers was more than any batsman, uh, any other batsman in the game. Why? Because he's able to drive anything that doesn't quite get in the right areas uh, if it's over-pitched. He's able to hit you straight down the ground. If you bowl the Yorker, he's got the little ramp shot over short fine leg, or he can ramp you over short third man as well. And then he showed that he can play the reverse sweep shots as well, and the pull shots. Very difficult custom to bowl to in the death. If he didn't get out by that beautiful slower ball from Nat Rajan, RCB 
might have just got over the line. But I felt they were 15 runs uh, too much on the scoreboard for RCB to make out the end uh, anyway. Now, I just want to touch on a few comments that Faf de Plessy has made in press conferences at the end of the last two games. Faf de Plessy, great ambassador for the game, really enjoy what he does, and uh, I love uh, the leadership that he provides. But just over the last couple of games, the pressure he's hit RCB and has hit the captain as well. The last game, he said that the RCP, uh, that RCB lack weapons in the bowling department. That's in the power play as well as the death overs. And also they lack spin depth as well. And then at the end of this game, he said that the bowlers came into this game with a lack of confidence. They were asking them to try and do new things. For me, I think the bowling staff or the coaching staff of RCB have got to sit there with their bowlers and go, right, what do you think, what's not going right out there for you? Uh, what's going through your mind out the top of the mark? What are you doing differently than what you uh, were when you're at your best before the match starts? Were you preparing differently? Um, are you planning against opposition batsmen as diligently as you normally do? All these questions have to be asked because at the end of the day, the bowlers have got their strengths. They've got to back their strengths against the batsman out the other end. And I, um, I, I just think sometimes you've got to go pound for pound. And if it comes off, it comes off. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And the only question that you can ask yourself at the end of the game as a bowler, did I execute the delivery that I wanted to bowl out each, uh, each moment of the game that I delivered the ball? If I did, it's out of my control what the batsman did because the batsman's entitled to hit the ball. It's just my execution that I can control. If the batsman has a good day, the only question after that that you ask if you've uh, executed everything that you've wanted to bowl, did I have my plans right? And for me, RCB were a bit like Mumbai the other night against Chennai Super Kings. They didn't seem to have plans melted down as well as they could have last night. I thought Sunrisers Hyderabad had better plans than RCB. It was only D uh, Danish Cardix batting that really made the contest a lot closer than what it should have been. Your thoughts? Get them downstairs. Thanks for joining me.